I won't take up too much of your time. So I hope if you enjoy this tonight's performance. I won't take up too much of your time to say, but I would like to take this opportunity to thank a few people who have made tonight happen. And this is not any way near order of importance, it's basically just chronological. A few months ago, my partner Nick took a phone call from uh, Howard of Welsh Choirs International asking if I would be interested in performing with the London Welsh Rugby uh, Welsh Choir. They'd already had uh, two venues booked for their tour and Howard was looking for another venue in this part of the coast. Nick says to me, hey, there's Howard. He's got a really strong Welsh accent. <laughs> but I can still understand him. <laughs> I think he's from Cowbridge. <laughs> so Howard, where are you? Oh, yeah. You should be honoured, mate. Because even <coughs> after 10 years, Nick doesn't understand the word my part of saying. <laughs> anyway, when Nick mentioned it to me, I jumped at the chance. For two reasons. One was a Welshman. Singing with a male voice choir is an honour. And as our, Howard was from, King, from Cowbridge, which is posh compared to where I come from. <laughs> Or the cracker, as we like to say, hey, it's from the cracker, from the posh part. <laughs> I'm from the vines. I word is from the Vale of the Morgan. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, I'm here. But hey, that's posh for a like me, so thank you, Howard, for inviting me this evening. <laughs> Given Howard's already existing relationship with Decca, we decided to use this opportunity to raise funds for what must be one of the most important charities on the coast. And when one talks of Decca, the next sentence out of your mouth has to be more exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Nick approached Morris and asked him if he would agree to host tonight's show. Morris readily agreed and won some board and with his continuous plug-in of tonight's show on talk radio, we knew that we'd have no problem selling tickets. What we didn't know was just how many people we'd have to turn away. So, Morris, many thanks for your support. Now, <laughs> certainly no one least, the man who has worked tirelessly and endlessly to organise this evening, and all my other evenings, actually, in the words of Leo Sayer, he may be just a one-man band, but he takes the bull by the horns and ne ne never lets anything uh, get stand in his way of getting things done. We've had zero budget for this evening to organise tonight's show. So ladies and gentlemen, please give a big thank to my partner, Nick Holland, without whom tonight would never have happened. <laughs> Do you stop cooking your dinner again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been working since about 11 o'clock at night and I'm, I'm starving. <laughs> right, just quickly, I would just like to take a few minutes to talk about the reason that we are here this evening, Kideka. As a charitable organisation providing palliative care for those stricken by cancer, Kideka has to be one of the most important charities here. There are very few people today who have escaped the spectrum of cancer, whether it's friends, it's family. I know my family has been affected by cancer, and I'm sure most of you here know somebody who's been affected by cancer. For all those people who are involved in this exceptional organisation, I applaud you, and everyone here, sat here this evening, also applauds you. This is where it gets a bit um, The fragility of life was rammed home to me last week when a friend died suddenly and almost without warning. Today is the day of his funeral. Today is a, is a time of mixed emotions for me. I stand here a proud Welshman sharing the stage with my fellow countrymen, but today is also Tony's funeral. And for that I'm sad. I met Antti Monoi 10 years ago as we worked on the music together in Dublin. We became good friends and in a short space of time. A man with a broken personality and an exceptional voice, 
I will never know why Tony was never a major recording star. He toured the world as a backing singer with a Swiss recording artist, an artist that himself has sold over 14 million albums worldwide. Tony's talent was equal to that of his contemporaries, which is Craig Davis and Usher. Tony, today I mourn for you, for your two sudden passing, but also rejoice for your life and your talent. I take this opportunity to dedicate my performance tonight to your memory, and in particular, I sing this next song for you, for ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tony Mariah. Thank you. 